Flat Square. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah, just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. See, you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. How's life inside the military industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. <laughs> robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. How's the ticker? You've been doing your exercises like Dr. Lund recommended? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! Okay, before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. We can feed the pigeons. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Dad, he visits you at least once a month. But you come over here every day. And aren't you lucky to have such a devoted daughter? Have you still got your allotment here? Bastards took it away from me. Christ's sake. What did you do this time? The fascist closed ranks and forced me out. Didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad? I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old pair. Was it always... easy being married to Mum? What? I don't know, I was just wondering. You and Mum were married for 40 years. That's a long time to be with one person. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a Privilege. She certainly had the measure of us. Remember how she used to call us a pair of chattering jackdaws? Always squabbling. <laughs> Squawking is the word I think she used. Ah, uh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know. Everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. I know, Dad. You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did.
It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a cuppa then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more sugar. Keep it coming. A little more? Seriously? Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this? Absolutely stupid! Put it away, walking around in other people's business. What the hell are you doing with drugs in your flat? Oh, stop in such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. I just can't fathom it. You, of all people! Why would you? They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I, I take them to broaden my mind. Where are you getting them from? Oh, so the stuff shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. Oh, nice, Dad. You're trying to implicate me now? Just tell me who's supplying you. Oh. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin and a huge flower with glowing walls. Ha <laughs> trippy, huh? His name, Dad. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, I'll write down his phone number. Dad, I've got to go. Don't do any more of those. Promise. All right. Off you pop. Can I help you? You're Wendy. Nice to meet you. I just popped over to see your dad. Right. I'm Mina, your dad's friend. 
I know who you are. Oh. Good. Well, going anywhere nice? Nope. Okay. Well, I better go. It was lovely to meet you. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. I think I've made an enemy. Don't worry, Wendy's just a typical bullshy teenager. How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't get involved. Do you think she'd at least appreciate it if I just tried to avoid her from now on? Uh, probably not. <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? Is this a wind-up or something? I got your number from a friend. I'm looking for some gear. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You sure you're not Spider? Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. Are you the bird on the phone? Your spider? Yeah, we doing business or what? Jesus, what are you playing at? You do all your deals around the back of a primary school? Anyway, this little business, it's over. No more dealing, no more clients. You're done. Find another profession. <laughs> you what? I think I was clear enough. Got some mouth on you. Jog on, love, before I take it to heart. Oh dear. Wrong answer. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. You serious? Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. 
I think it'd be a good idea if you did as you're told. Don't you, Gavin? Yeah. <laughs> you can do better than that. Yes, absolutely. Good boy. I'm going to keep hold of this license, just in case I ever need to hand it in to the authorities. You're not the police? Who the hell are you? Do what I say and you won't need to find out. Now get lost. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. Having fun with your extracurricular activities. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? <laughs> I feel like I'm being ganged up on here. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. You know, your dad used to be an excellent rock climber back in the day. He was in magazines, books, all sorts. A household name in that world. Before he gave it up. I never knew that. What magazines? A story for another evening. Now, come on. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. It's fine. Good night, Dylan. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? It doesn't matter. I just can't make it, okay? Okay. So when can I see? <sighs> Let's play it by ear. I'll text you. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Can I assume that means I got the job? Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. <laughs> Sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. Why her, though? I'm not afraid of a little competition. Okay. Bring it on. There she is. 